More strikes are expected across fronts in the coming weeks. Workers in a wide range of sectors are demanding a pay rise in line with a spiraling inflation. Earlier this month, there was a mass walkout of staff from the country's biggest oil refinery. Although many of them have returned to work, fuel shortages persist. Sarah Coates has more. Pain at the pump continues for motorists right across France as prices and waiting times for gas remain high. The prices have increased significantly. I paid 2.40 a litre when it's usually 170. The situation that's been ongoing now for at least a month is only marginally better despite many Total Energies employees returning to work at the refinery. We've been driving around Paris now for about an hour and even though the lines are a bit smaller than what we've been seeing the last couple of weeks, people are being seen filling up reusable gas cans while security guards are also on some of the premises directing and controlling traffic. The French government says it's doing everything it can to get back to a normal situation. Unions say more national strike days are being planned for early November as a winter of discontent continues to brew. Now all of this is these huge gas companies continue to profit in the backdrop of the energy crisis Europe is facing with oil and gas giant Total Energies announcing a third quarter profit of $6.6 billion, up 43% on the same time last year. The company says it'll pay its staff a bonus of one month's salary as the French opposition calls for a tax on large windfall profits of multinationals, a proposal the government continues to shoot down. Sarah Coates, CGTN, Paris.